Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today, I kind of realized in my last video that maybe there are some of you out there in the hobby that are new to this and don't really understand exactly what I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do this right on camera so you can see exactly what is going on and how this works. So as I said in my previous video, this is the board that we'll be needing and we're going to unsolder this wire and this wire here. So this is usually how I do this. I'm going to try to do this. It's, I can't do it through the camera, so you're going to have to just bear with me. I'll try to keep it in the, in the I usually like to just let it hang and the weight of it will let it drop free and you'll keep your solder on there. There we go. So now these wires will be soldered on to those spots. And this is where my little soldering jig comes in real handy. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to set this up on here. Let me figure out a nice way to do this again. Yeah, that should hold it. So I already these wires are already pre-tinned. So I'm going to uh, use this flux again. Like I talked about in my previous video. And all you do is you just take it and just dip it in there. A little on it and you're good to go. It doesn't need to be gobbed up on there. Just a little bit. It's all you need. So now, you just take and heat your solder up. There's one. Let's spin this around here so I can see the other side better. Oh, well, give me a second. I'll do this with my left hand, but I should be able to do it. It doesn't take much. And there we go. That's that. All done, soldered up. So now we have our board connected. We have our board connected to the winch, and I will power up the i have this it bound up pretty easy to my spectrum and it works great for this demonstration we'll power this up and we're bound yep we're bound all right so here we go there's your winch on spooling There it goes back in. Pretty simple. So now, uh, this is one of those ESC receivers in all together deals. I'm sure some of you have seen these. But um, I have this plugged in to just like I had in the other one, AUX1. Now, if you're using a separate receiver, you can use channel 3, channel 4, 5, 6. Uh, whatever whatever channel you want to use to, to control it. Um, I hope this further helped you. Um, I wanted this I wanted to uh, go a little more in depth than my previous video. I had a buddy that said, you know, um, there's 
a lot of new people in the hobby that don't really know exactly what's what yet um, and haven't been around the hobby, um, you know, for any length of time. They're just get into it and they may not understand what you were saying or, you know, where this should go. So it might have been better to show, you know, exactly what is going on here. But uh, here it is. And as you can see, it's a, it's a super simple five minute project. So, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment, ask a question, um, subscribe, like. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more and more videos out, some different things. I got, uh, I got some. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big WPL fan. I know, but they're so cool. But uh, I just found these custom wheels for my uh, little mini. Um, D12. It's the one sixteenth uh, version, not the one tenth. And I got a video coming up soon here. From some very cheap wheels, fifteen dollars for six sets of wheels and tires. This thing, and they're all different, and they're all look really cool for this little thing. But here's a little preview of what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, this will be coming up in uh future video about a week when I get another uh, set of these to uh, show you how it's done okay anyhow y'all have a good uh, y'all have a good day and uh, hope you see you around again